Hello everyone out there, it's John. Welcome back to another episode of the Fat Hipster Channel. And what I'm going to be doing today is taking a few steps out of this cup. You can see it's from Buffalo Wild Wings. What's so special about this drink? Well, it's a Mountain Dew variant. See, I told you I was going to have a lot of drinks coming up soon. It's a new Mountain Dew variant called Mountain Dew Legend. And it is exclusive to Buffalo Wild Wings. I recently had a Buffalo Wild Wings, is it called Buffalo Wild Wings Go? Or something like that. Where it's a limited menu Buffalo Wild Wings location. But it recently opened up in a strip mall near me. And now I can get delivery from there. I believe you can only like wings, some of the sides. You can't get like the nachos or anything that has like a tons of toppings on it. You get, like fries. What I got here, mozzarella sticks, cheese curds, tater tots, potato wedges. I think it's basically just basic fried sides and the chicken, which is fried. So it probably just has a bunch of fries there. Interestingly, it did say it had burgers on the menu, but when I tried to order a burger, it said not available. I don't know if that's something that's going to come there and they're going to have burgers and they just don't have them now because it's just newly opened or if that's some kind of error on their part on the ordering menu online. Decent mozzarella sticks. I also got the classic chicken sandwich. I've already reviewed that. This video is all about this beverage, Mountain Dew Legend. Now, Legend isn't a very descriptive term to uh, inform the buyer what they're about to taste. So I looked it up, and this is what it's supposed to taste like. The taste of original Mountain Dew with notes of blackberry, citrus, and ginger. Um... Like I said in my last video, my other Mountain Dew one, which I liked, they typically always say that it's like starts with regular Dew, but I never really taste that. So what I'm going to look for is blackberry, citrus, now citrus is already in Mountain Dew, and ginger. They've had ginger in like a gingerbread cookie flavor before, so I wonder if they're using that same thing. Um, I don't have an ingredient list for this one. I could probably find one online, but I'm not gonna. And just to like give you a showing of like what the color of this is. The last one was purple, but it was kind of blue. And this one seems pretty much blue and black. If you look down at it, it looks like a blackish blue. Which blackberry? That's probably why. Let's go ahead and give it a taste. Forgot to mute the computer. There we go. No more dings. I definitely get the blackberry. Um citrus there might be some citrus in there but really the blackberry here is the main flavor that I'm getting and I'm trying to see while I'm thinking about ginger if I can taste ginger no not getting much ginger Even like thinking hard about ginger, I'm not getting ginger. So Mountain Dew Legend, the exclusive at Buffalo Wild Wings, pretty much just tastes like a blackberry soda. Yeah, that's pretty much it. If you go to a sit-down Buffalo Wild Wings, they have cocktails they make with this. 
such as the legendary Long Island, which includes vodka, rum, tequila, triple sec, lemon sour, and this Mountain Dew. Seems gimmicky, um, but a lot of their um, specialty cocktails at places like the Buffalo Wild Wings, Applebee's, CGI Fridays, and those specialty cocktails are usually all sugary. Not really a, a cocktail per se, more of a alcoholic mixed drink. So, it's not bad. The um, the Mountain Thunder that I had just yesterday was superior. So it's not bad. It's just not special. It tastes like a Blackberry Crush. If you're already at Buffalo Wild Wings, do you want to try something new? Go ahead and try this one out. There's no need to rush out and try it if uh, you're not already conveniently in the area. <coughs> well, <coughs> I want to throw it there for a second. I'm going to give it like a 7.3 out of 10. on the sugary beverage scale. It's uh, definitely full sugar. Didn't have any options for a zero sugar variety. I'm sure it's full of caffeine. But at the end of the day, it's just another different fruity, different uh, food dyed, caffeinated sugared up beverage from Mountain Dew and then PepsiCo. If you order it, you're not going to hate it, but it's not something uh, too extremely special, in my opinion. But anyway, hope you enjoyed the video. Give a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel. If another Mountain Dew comes out and I have the opportunity to get it, you will surely find it on this channel. And with that, I bid you adieu. So long, farewell, and goodbye.